Welcome to the Tuesday, June 25th, 2013 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online. In today's video, we recap the latest pork belly market trends, and later, an update on recent U.S. poultry slaughter figures. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. Yesterday, Wendy's began rolling out its pretzel bacon cheeseburger at stores nationwide, the newest addition to the company's burger roster. The sandwich features a beef patty, cheddar cheese sauce, bacon lettuce tomato, red onion, and smoky honey mustard all packed between a toasted pretzel bun. The burger is priced at $4.69 and will be available nationwide by early July and adds to Wendy's growing line of premium burgers including the Double Patty Baconator, Dave's Hot and Juicy Cheeseburger and the W Burger. Yeah. You can get more information about Wendy's pretzel burger and more protein news from the center of the plate by heading over to foodmarket.com. In other news, late last week, the USDA released its latest report on the condition of the pork belly stocks. Here is Ernerberry Pork Market reporter Russell Barton with an analysis of the current state of the market. The latest cold storage report showed belly stocks in May were down 3% from April and 17% lower than a year ago. This release came of little surprise to most participants as it was relatively well known that to at least some degree, bellies were being pulled from the freezer as early as April. With production levels at what is typically their yearly lows, supplies of bellies have been extremely tight for an extended period. This, combined with a food service movement toward including bacon and many more dining options, has resulted in 14 to 16 pound bellies appreciating by over 34% since late March in what has been a close to linear move. Last year, bellies topped at $160 per hundredweight and the resulting bacon prices were anywhere between $4 to $7 per pound. This year, bellies are currently just below $180 per hundredweight and have been above $160 since the end of May. Therefore, the future of bacon prices for this summer is highly uncertain at this point. You can see the USDA cold storage report and more U.S. pork market news and analysis by, heading, by clicking the red meat tab in Comto. Thanks, Russell. We conclude today's show with Ernerberry Poultry Market reporter Terrence Wells recapping the latest poultry slaughter figures. U.S. poultry production ticked down slightly in May with declines among all poultry commodities reported for the month. According to the USDA's June poultry slaughter report, the preliminary total live weight of all federally inspected poultry as of May 2013 was 5.09 billion pounds. This figure was down marginally from the same time a year ago, but continues along the trend of the industry's self induced production cutbacks. Young and mature chicken, turkey, and duck preliminary live weights all recorded declines during the month. Meanwhile, poultry certified wholesome or ready to cook weight declined 1% year over year in May, falling to 3.84 billion pounds. Be sure to head on over to Comtel and click the poultry tab to see the complete slaughter report, as well as the latest market news and analysis for the U.S. poultry industry. Thanks, Terrence. That wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Today's video is sponsored by the NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online, an interactive way for you to learn and understand more about the items you buy and sell. The NAMP Meat Buyer's Guide Online features high-definition videos for all of your major red meat items. Head to meatbuyersguide.com to view a demo and sign up today.